I have a lot of clients to keep track of, notes in my meetings with them, colleagues that I want to follow up with, basically networking or what I call net caring. And over the years, I have tried different ways of trying to keep up to date with, oh, who should I contact next? Who haven't I contacted in a long time? I've used, of course, spreadsheets. I've used other CRM systems. CRM stands for Client Relationship Management or more broadly, Contact Relationship Management. So let me now show you the way I'm doing it, which I have found to be the simplest and also most reliable way. I'm really happy to be doing it this way and uh, hopefully this will help you as well. All right, so it uses Todoist, which is a popular uh, to-do list management system. And let me show you how I do it. So here's my Todoist. It always starts out with the, uh, the I default to the today folder. And the way I do it basically is I've created a project or category in Todoist, it's called project, but it's essentially a category called people. And when I go to people, I basically have, first of all, this is my uh, recurring reminder of how to do my networking or net caring. Uh, but then I have a list of people, colleagues, clients, and other others that I want to keep track of on a regular basis. And this is sort of the upcoming dates for when uh, I have reminded myself to touch base with them. And I want to show you a particular uh, person as an example. And this person has given me permission to show uh, their record. So Erica, thank you so much. Okay, so this is Erica's record. And let me show you a couple things. One is that uh, obviously it's just the, the name of the task is just their name. And then within, uh, just underneath the name, is a what's called a description field and the description field can be quite long I think it's up to maybe 2,000 characters so this is where I put sort of general information that I have about Erica that I want to quickly look at each time that I touch base with Erica so you know what Erica is up to the, the kinds of modalities that Erica works with um, the link to Erica's website etc okay and then, so I'm just going to click, click save here. I can, I can, like I said, type, type a lot here up to 2000 characters, right? I'm going to cancel that. And then below the description field is, uh, you could do subtasks if you want to, but I basically go to the comments and the comments oh, can be collapsed or expanded are, um, a series of interactions that I have with Erica. So every time I meet with Erica or, uh, you know, maybe uh, have a have a significant email or messaging conversation. I want to take some notes, and and they're all nicely time stamped, time stamped. So, for example, if I start a comment here, test comment, okay, and press comment here, uh, it'll be time stamped to this exact moment. And in my comment, I can also do a voice record and audio notes about about the interaction or attach any files. Um, and I can even do other you know, to-doist integrations that are pretty cool here. So this is really simple and useful just to have all these notes for my interactions with Erica over, over time. And here is the place that I, I think is the most cool thing. Of, well, you know, keeping track of notes is one thing, but then having Erica's record automatically come up on a regular basis is what's super cool about using the simple method. So if I click on due date, you can see what I've done is I've, I've said every exclamation mark three weeks, which means every three weeks I want to have some interaction with Erica. I want to be reminded to reach back out to Erica or to set an appointment or something like that. So having, having an exclamation means that by the completion moment, it'll set up another three weeks reminder. So for example, today, um, today I happen to have already, let, let's say I'm just going to set, set the due date as, uh, let's say, let, let's say it was, um, it was, you know, March 1st or whatever. Okay. But it's still set on every three weeks, every three weeks. I just had clicked on March 1st as a manual override, but it's every exclamation mark three weeks. So today is February 21st. When I click the checkbox for, yes, I've interacted with Erica today to my satisfaction. I click the checkbox. It automatically puts it as three weeks from today. And if I click it again accidentally, it doesn't matter because because it's every exclamation mark three weeks, it's going to recur based on the moment I click on a checkbox for three weeks from now. So it's super useful. 
And, you know, when I go to my today folder, if there's someone to interact with again, to be reminded to interact with them, it'll come up in my today list. So I hope this is helpful and I you know, invite you to give it a try if you, especially if you used to do us, but if you don't use to do us, maybe it might be a good reason or whatever other to do list software that you use, you could probably uh, modify it to be your CRM or contact sort of ongoing reminders to interact with the most important people in your profession. So hope that helps. And if you have any other tips, of course, feel free to comment below and share that with others on how you uh, sort of sustainably in a fun way, uh, fun for you, because I, when I used, used to use spreadsheets, it was no longer fun after a while. And this way is a lot more fun and more, inter uh, more intuitive for me to, to, to do it. So I look forward to seeing any comments you have below.